Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Shall we have a word of prayer? Let's go to God in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we are thankful to you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for life. Thank you for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Father, for your love. We cannot do it on our own, Lord. You are our strength. We are weak. You are our strength. Our body is so limited. You are strong, Lord. And you are unlimited. We tap strength from you, Father. We receive strength from you, Lord. We receive strength from you, Father. We receive strength from you, O God. Our ears, Lord, are heavy. Our eyes, O God, are heavy. O Lord, we receive ears to hear. And we receive eyes also to see, Father. Let my mouth speak your word of resurrection. Let my mouth speak your word of life. Let it speak word of encouragement, Lord. Word of healings, O oh God. Amen. Father, we are not interested, O oh God, in the argument that is in the flesh. Amen. We are not interested, O oh God, in the worldliness that is in the flesh. Amen. Paul said that this is without controversy, Lord. Amen. Father, this is without controversy. Amen. And we confirm not with flesh and blood, O oh God. Amen. Father, we confirm not with flesh and blood, O oh God. Amen. Our eyes are completely fixed upon you, Father. Amen. Our eyes are completely fixed upon you, Father. Amen. And we know, O oh God, you will touch us. You will teach us. Amen. You will reveal yourself to us Amen. in a way so special like never before in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, thank you, Father, for today. Thank you for this ministry, Lord. Amen. Thank you for the brethren, oh God, that is keeping this fire burning. Amen. Thank you for our wives. Amen. Thank you for our children, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father, for my brother Habax. Thank you, Lord, for my brethren, oh God. My sisters, oh God, numerous of them. I can't mention them all, Lord. I thank you, Father. Amen. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Lord, you have made our little and temporal time on earth worthwhile. Amen. We are grateful, Lord Jesus. Amen. Father, to this morning, oh God, we are calling upon you, Father. Amen. Come and break this bread of life Amen. unto us, Lord. Amen. Let us receive your life. Amen. Let us grow in that strength. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to continue from our topic, the unveiling of the Son of Man. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This was a prophecy in the time of the Lord Jesus Christ in his physical ministry. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He prophesied about this day. Turn with me to the book of Luke. Luke 7.30. He prophesied about this day. Luke seven thirty. Luke seventeen thirty. Sorry, Luke seventeen thirty. I read. Even tall shall he be. In the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This was a prophecy. The day the Lord Jesus Christ spoke about this. He was pointing to a day in the future. Amen. 
a day when the Son of Man will be revealed. When the Son of Man not will be, is revealed. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. So there's a difference now. Go back there. I'm going to take this very, very calm so that everyone can understand. I pray that the Spirit will help me to be calm, more calm today. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Go back to that place. Verse 30 says, Thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. When he put it this way, will be revealed. There are two different things. There are two different things. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So here he's pointing out something that will be in present reality. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It could be standing there, but it's not yet made open. Amen? Amen. Amen. Just like Peter. When the Lord asks them, who do men say I am? Many of them couldn't get it. He was standing there with them. But many couldn't understand. Amen? Amen. Many couldn't get it. Why he was present there with them. But Peter, by the revelation of the Spirit, said you are the Christ. The Son of the living God. Yes. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now this scripture, when you look at this scripture very well, you will see that this scripture is not talking about a future prophecy. It's not talking about something that is subjected to time. Yes. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's talking about a present reality that is hidden. Amen. Something that is there. But at the same time, is not there. Yes. Praise be the name of the Lord. It's a present reality, but is hidden. Let somebody say amen to that. Amen. That's why the Lord said, he said, the world cannot see me because they don't know me. The world cannot see me. The world cannot receive me because they don't know me. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now time has come. When the elect will realize that the scripture, the responsibility of the gospel is placed upon them. Amen. You must come to that realization. The preaching of this gospel is not upon everyone. That is why not everyone can understand it. That's what the Lord Jesus Christ said. He said, it is to you that is giving the ear to understand. You are giving that ear to know the truth. It is a privilege that is given to you. Say amen to that. Amen. It's not for everyone. That privilege is not given to everyone. It's given to a special class. Of persons. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. A predestinated virgin like unto Mary. Say amen to that. Amen. So it's not for everybody. So don't feel bad when others don't see what you see. Don't feel bad. It's not given to them. It's given to you. So the responsibility, the gospel of peace is your responsibility. Amen. It is not just the responsibility of I and Brother Herbert. It is the responsibility of us all. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You are not trying to develop the group of Brother Herbert or Brother Ifidon. No. You are not trying to develop to support the live stream or Brother Herbert, or Brother If you don't know. You see, what you are doing is your part to support this gospel because it is our responsibility. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Anything at all you can do.
to move this gospel forward. Do it joyfully. Because we have been called for this hour. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I've not deviated from my message. I am still on my message. Amen. Amen. Now I want to turn with me to Genesis. Genesis chapter 3. I want to read verse 15. Genesis 3, 15. Please turn with me. Notice. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Let somebody say amen to that. Amen. Wherever you are, say amen to that. Amen. Now listen. There are three stages to the unveiling of the Son of Man. The three stages are chosen by me, not that it must be like that. So I want to explain it in three stages. The first stage is the sowing or the planting stage. Say amen to that. Amen. Everything you see today, it is a form of a farmer planting his seed and waiting patiently for it for harvest. That is exactly what the Lord is doing. That's why in the book of Romans he said, the Lord subjected man, not to remain that in that state hopelessly, but he subjected man to the flesh in hope. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we are going to look at it in three stages. And the first stage is going to be the planting stage or the sowing stage. Amen? Amen. Amen. So what did God plant in Genesis 2-7? There was something that was planted in man. There was something that was sowed in man. In Genesis 2-7. Genesis 2-7 speaks about man being formed of the ground. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord wanted to manifest himself. Not as a single entity. He wants to manifest himself in a many-membered body, in a many-membered entity. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. amen. That was why the Lord formed man. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. And at that stage, something from the Lord, a lie from the Lord, entered into that man. It was at that stage. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. And what was that life? That life is Genesis 1, 26. Amen. And that life also is Genesis 1, 1. Amen. That life is the seed. Christ the seed. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. That's why Paul said, he said, all the prom promises of God is in that seed. Amen. So you must be careful the kind of seed you are receiving today. Amen. Because every seed is going to manifest according to its kind. You must be very careful. If the seed you are receiving is the seed of denomination, you give back to denomination. If the seed you are receiving is Christ, you are going to manifest Christ. Amen. Because we are talking about the unveiling of the Son of Man. Amen. And we know what the product is at the harvest time. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So it starts from the seed. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It starts from the seed. 
And that seed is Christ. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, take note of this. This is very, very important. I'm taking it very, very calm. Now, notice. There was a nature in man. And for God to be able to bring in his own seed, there must be a separation. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There must be a separation. Physically, we saw that separation in man and the woman. A man having the invisible seed of God. Why the woman is the physical, the body manifestation of the earth. Amen. We also see it typing the spirit and the soul. Praise be the name of the Lord. The spirit being the seed of God. Why in the soul being the ground? Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. On that ground, any seed can come to it. It can be the seed of God, and it can also be the seed of man. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So there was a separation. That separation spiritually is the seed that was separated. Amen. We have Christ and we have man. Amen. We have the first man and we have the last man. Amen. That was the separation. And that was why there was a proclamation in Genesis 3.15. Now go to Genesis 3.15 where we read. That was where there was this proclamation. It said, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head. Before the woman was separated, the woman was one with the seed of God. Amen. Before man become man and woman, they were together fused. So the seed of the woman is the man. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And whether the seed of the serpent is the carnal man. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And this demarcation was done. We saw this division. And that division is the first man and the last man. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And right from Genesis, the seed that is going to cross the head of the serpent, the seed that is going to fulfill the will of the Father, the seal that is going to bring total deliverance and salvation to this world Amen. is the seed of God Christ himself. Amen. That is the seed of the woman. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm getting risen, rise up. I'm getting, I'm speaking too fast. I'm sorry about that. Now, please understand this. This is very, very important. What is sown in the heart determines what the heart will manifest. Amen. The Lord has made it physically and visibly. The two seeds, the carnal seed and the spiritual seed. And Paul said, he said, to be carnally minded is death. Carnal mind is the seed of death. Amen. Spiritual mindedness is the seed of life. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So you watch out the seeds that you are planting in that garden. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now watch. This is very important. There is a difference between sowing, planting, and the seed becoming physical. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to go a little bit physical. When you see a husband and a wife, when you look at that man, in that man is all his generation. Let somebody say amen to that. Amen. Is all his generation in that man. All his generation. Inside of that man is his sons, is his daughters, 
Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. But you can't see it physically. Now, for that man to manifest what is inside of him, he must sow that seed. There must be a union between man and the wife. And the seed is planted in the wife. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. And when the seed is planted, and it takes a process of growth, praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. And that seed is brought forth. Then you can now see it physical. Amen. Then the seed has been made flesh. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. So there's a difference between Genesis 2, 7 and John 1, 14. Two different. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Two different. One, the seed is planted. In the other one, the seed became flesh. Two things. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Now we are looking at these stages. The first stage is the planting stage. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. And notice what was planted in the first man. The first man became unconscious of the seed of God inside of him. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. That is why we cannot get life from this first man. We can't get it. We can get nothing from that first man. Because all that he knows is the flesh. Amen. We can get nothing from him. Now watch this. Watch this. The second man, after the separation, the two seed has been separated. The first man and the last man. And we entered into a new order. Amen. We enter into a new civilization. We enter into a new reproduction. Say amen to that. Amen. The order of the New Testament. In this new order, God is planting. Amen. And what is planting now? Is that seed that has been separated? Amen. The Christ Himself. Yeah. The how did Paul, how did how did uh, Peter in, explain it? Peter said it's incorruptible seed Amen. by the word. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what is being planted today. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. When we go back in the shadow. In the Old Testament, the seed was promised to Abraham. It was in that seed that all nations will be blessed. Amen. No matter what nation you belong to, whether it's Africa, whether it's Asia, whether it's America, whatever nation it belongs to, every nation will be blessed by that seed. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. When Simeon saw him, he said he's the one that take care of the sin of the world. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. We are talking about the seed of victory. Christ, the seed that crushes the head of the serpent. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Now watch. This is very, very important. This is very, very important. Amen? Amen. Amen. You know, the enemy goes ahead. And he has put up so many things. There are so many divisions. Because the seed that man has known from Genesis is the seed of division. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. When you come to Genesis, you find it. This is the generation of Cain. This is the generation of Noah. We enter into the Old Testament. We still find it. There is a division. This is the generation of Adam. We enter into the New Testament. They still continue that division. But man is so foolish to realize that the same vein that runs in you is the same vein that runs in everybody. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. They foolishly deceive themselves, thinking that they are special. There is something that makes them special. 
that same very blood that runs in the children of Enoch is the same blood that runs in the children of Adam. Is the same blood that runs in all of them. The same blood. They are brothers. The Bible calls them brothers from the same man. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But there is a division. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The seed of duality. The seed of good and evil. And that is how that has been the seed that has been sown into this world. And that has also been the gospel that has been preached also. It got into the gospel. The same seed of division. Oh God. Amen. But the seed of Christ I'm talking about, there is no division in it. Amen. There is no man, there is no woman. Amen. There is no male, there is no female. There is no Nigeria, there is no USA. There is no Asia, there is no Africa. Amen. There is no Gentile, there is no Greek. It is the seed of oneness. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That's why Paul said, now let me show you something. First Corinthians chapter 15. Take note of this. I want to point it out. Amen. Amen. First Corinthians 15. Many are so blind. Though it's not their fault because they don't know it. It is not their place to touch this oracle of God. But they picked it up and made a mess of it. First Corinthians 15. Now, watch this. Watch this. Now, I want to get to that place. You can press it later. It talked about the first man, Adam, is of the earth, earthy. It is there. You can find it out. Then the second Adam, if you notice, when he mentioned the first man, Adam, you notice that division. There was a division. There was a division between man and the woman. But when he mentioned the, said the last Adam, there was no division. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. We must understand this. Amen? Amen. Because the Son of Man is about to be made flesh in the body of his sins. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. So the first stage is the planting stage. It's the stage of planting. What seed are you planting? In Genesis, the woman accepted the seed of the serpent. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. When we enter into the New Testament, Mary accepted the seed of God. He said, be it unto me according to your word. Amen. When it was told to her that something impossible Something that is humanly impossible is going to happen to her. It is humanly impossible for a woman to be conceived. It's humanly impossible. When it was told to her, she believed the word of God. Amen. That which was humanly impossible manifested the second Adam. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So that second Adam is a spiritual seed. A spiritual seed that is not coming by man. The carnal man. Which is carnal nature. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The psalmist says that. He says, he says, he says, the, he says, the, he says, the, he says in iniquity did my mother conceive me. He said, I was shaping and brought up and conceived in iniquity. And I came into the world telling lies. He doesn't need to learn how to tell it. Because the nature that is inside is lying. The father of it. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The woman accepted that word. He accepted that seed. And what is important is her heart was a virgin heart. Because it is not a seed of duality is not a double mindedness praise the name of the lord Hallelujah. it's not a seed of good and evil 
it is a seed, the singular seed of God. Amen. Christ was what she put in that heart. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And you see this supernatural birth that took place. And that is exactly what is going on in the church. There is a bet that is going on. And this bet is by the incorruptible seed of God. Amen. The church is becoming conscious of their seed. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Becoming conscious of the spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Is becoming conscious of who they are in Christ. Not minding what they are going through in the flesh. Oh, so much, so much are the trials, so much are the trials and the tribulation of our faith, so much we go through in sickness, in lack, in want, we look away from it all, because our eyes is focusing on that invisible life of our Father, and that invisible, invisible light becoming flesh in us. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, if you have been receiving a denominational seed, a seed that is not according to the truth, because every word of the serpent, no matter how religious the serpent may look, is a denominational seed. Is a seed of death. Such a seed cannot manifest what we are talking about. Praise be the name of the Lord. He can manifest it. The only thing that will manifest the Son of Man is Christ Himself. Because Christ Himself is that seed of Abraham. When Paul talks about the seed of Abraham, even many today still limit themselves to those living in Palestine. That is not the seed of Abraham. The seed of Abraham is Christ. Praise be the name of the Lord. Not, we are not talking about seeds. Seed is Christ. Turn with me to the book of Galatians quickly. Galatians chapter 3. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We are talking about the planting. So what are you planting? What seed are you planting? You have to be careful of the seed you are planting. Because there is going to be a planting time. There is going to be a watering time. There is going to be a time of germination. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And there is going to be a time of harvest. It is at this time of harvest you will now see the Son of Man being revealed. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now watch this. Amen. Amen. Galatians chapter 5. Turn with me. Galatians chapter 3. Galatians. Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3. Now watch this. Galatians 3. Please turn with me. Galatians 3. We are going to read from verse 16. Notice. Now to Abraham and his seed. S-E-E-D. We are the promises made. You see, these promises is to that seed. The promises of God is in one man, and that is Christ. Amen. And Christ needs to be planted in your heart. Amen. You need to bring that Christ in your heart. You need to be planted. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You need to be buried in your heart. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now watch this. He said not to seeds as of many, but as of one, and thy seed, which is Christ. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's very, very important we confirm this. Amen? Amen? So what is that seed of the woman? What is that seed of the woman that is going to crush the head of the serpent? That is going to overcome all the damages the serpent has done. Who is that seed of the woman? 
That seed of the woman is Christ. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Now, notice there was a promise that she would be saved in child bearing. The salvation of your soul, it has to go through the process of child bearing. And in the process of child bearing, there is the time of sowing. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And before the seed can be sowed, there must be a union. There must be a marriage. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that marriage is between man and wife. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Not according to what happened in Genesis. Because the woman accepted the seed of the serpent. She united himself, herself with the serpent. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, now man is now flesh. So the woman united himself with the flesh. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And what did man manifest in the body? He manifested flesh. The works of the flesh. Go and look at the works of the flesh. One of these days we'll preach on it. The works of the flesh. That was what they manifested. And when Adam knew his wife, it was Adam that knew his wife. Amen. Man is spiritual. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Man is spiritual. Adam. Flesh. Knew his wife, flesh, and they gave birth a child of flesh. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But we are talking about a spiritual bride. Yes. And we are talking about a spiritual bridegroom. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. A spiritual bride must be united with the spiritual bridegroom. Amen. It has nothing to do with flesh and blood. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is purely spiritual. Man has already failed in the flesh. He has already taken the way of the flesh, the carnal nature. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now it is time to redeem her back. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Before the seed is sown, there must be a union. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There must be a union. And God. Christ himself, he himself is the husband of the church. Amen. He himself is the husband man. He himself is the owner of the farmland. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. He stepped out of eternity and manifested into physicality. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. He started a new generation of a kind of being. Not that kind of generation that was done by the first man. The generation of flesh and blood. He started a new generation of spirits. Amen. The nature of God. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Our Father Himself stepped out of eternity and became materialized Amen. in physical form. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And He's calling a bride out, out of the system and the carnal nature of the world. Calling that bride to Himself. He's calling a bride out of the carnal nature amen. out of the physicality amen. calling a bride back to himself amen. there is a spiritual exodus that is going on amen. and he taking several steps to call that bride completely out of himself amen. pray the name of the lord amen. and he's calling that bride to himself amen. being one with him praise be the name of the lord Hallelujah. listen the bride of god is the spirit of man Say amen to that. Amen. Because in the spirit of man, that is where the unity goes, takes place. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So our spirit is being united with his spirit. It is a physical unity. It is an invisible union. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. To manifest a visible son. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And he's calling that bride out of himself. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. For the past 2,000 years, we've known a bride 
that is expecting everything physical. Physical. They look at Israel. Physical Israel. They look at Jesus. Physical Jesus. They look at everything physical. Physical. But a time, the time has come. God is calling a bride. Out of that physical, carnal nature. Amen. Into a spiritual nature. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, for this union to happen, there must be a marriage. Bible calls it the marriage between the bride and the bridegroom. Praise be the name of the Lord. He calls it a marriage. And the, ma the bride comes out of that carnal system, that flesh man, into Christ. And every other one that is still in that flesh list system is locked out. Amen. And the bride is locked in with the bridegroom in a throne realm because he's about to manifest heaven. Amen. Oh, you didn't get that. Let me tell you where the union is going on. It's going on in the throne realm. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. That is where it's happening. He said, come. I will show you things that will be here after. She's about to give birth to sonship. Amen. She's about to manifest sonship. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He's calling them out of the system of the flesh. Out of the carnal system. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. How? You will know there has been a separation. And that separation is Christ. And the serpents. We know. So now, there must also be a separation. In your soul your soul is in your heart i'm not talking about the physical heart that pumps blood i'm talking about where every thought is formed praise the name of the lord Amen. where every thought is giving flesh praise the name of the lord is giving flesh in our hearts that is where every thought is giving that flesh that is where everything starts from that is where the serpent sold into the woman so now the woman must separate himself from the seed of the serpent from the seed of the flesh she must separate herself completely from that seed so that she can receive the seed of the woman completely so that the woman can be united perfectly united to her husband so that there can be a perfect union because what has happened is an imperfect union a union that is mismatched. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So there must be a perfect union. The seed of the woman. The seed that is truly that of the woman. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now I want to take this very fast. Now notice. When our spirit is united with his spirit. Not minding every imagination that comes into that heart. Not minding every trial that we go through in that heart. Not minding anything that the flesh is pushing at us with. Not minding it. Our seed, our spirit is united with his spirit. And we are receiving his seed. Amen. Pray be the name of the Lord. We are receiving that seed. Do you know what is going on? There is a process of death. And what death is that? It is the death of the thought of the seed of the serpent. Amen. That is what is going on because that seed is able to bring death to the serpent. But you have to hang up. Hang on there. Don't give up. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Life is greater than death. Amen. Light is greater than darkness. Amen. Don't give up. Hang on there. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The serpent is bringing trouble on you all over your body. You look at your body. You say, oh, does God truly exist? He exists. Hang on there. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't see him with the eye of the physical. See him with the eye of the supernatural. Amen. See him with the eye of the spirit. Amen. You don't see the promises of God with the physical. Amen. You see the promises of God with the spiritual eyes. Amen. That is why it's a spiritual union. 
Pray the name of the Lord. Amen. That is why there is something that is going on in the realm of the spirit that the physical does not understand. Pray the name of the Lord. Amen. You hang on there. In joy, you hang on there. You hang on, you hold on that seed. Amen. What is going on? That seed is bringing to death every imagination that rises its head against the knowledge of Christ. Amen. It's killing it. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. It's killing it. Let somebody say amen to that. Amen. Now we know there is a separation. We understand. That woman was once deceived. But this woman cannot be deceived. Amen. Because this woman is spirit. Amen. Is spirit. Amen. Oh, the other one was flesh. But this one is spirit. She cannot be deceived. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. She had a sword of the spirit. is holding it. She cannot be deceived. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. She's accepting that seed. No matter what trial she's going on. Paul said, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Amen. Through Christ that strengthens us. Amen. He's our strength. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We are holding on. We don't mind. The enemy is pinching us from all sides. Hitting us from all sides. Bringing different, different thoughts to us. Oh, we bring it down. Amen. We cast it down. Amen. We cast it down. Amen. We hold on to that seed. Because we know there's a process of death. Amen. The carnal nature must die. Amen. The carnal thinking must die. Amen. The carnal seed must die. Amen. When it has completely died, what happened? A new body will sprung forth. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. There is going to be a body in a body that is coming forth. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We entered into the next stage. The germination. It has a new body. Do you know what that next stage is called? I call it germination. Peter calls it being born again of the incorruptible seed of the world. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. A new man is born. A new child is born. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Oh, I can see Brother Herbert watering that child. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. I can see Sister, Sister Andre and Sister Mary Jane, I can see my brothers, my wonderful brothers, watering that child. Praise the name of the Lord. I can see the ministers watering that child. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is watering it. His germination is coming up. A new body is born. A new body is born. That is what Paul called resurrection. The same life, the same seed that went down is coming out. But when the seed is a denominational seed, when it dies, it goes down there. It doesn't come up. Say amen to that. Amen. It doesn't come up. It is not a story. It's a, face, it's, a, it's a reality that is going on inside. That's why it says, the revelation, when the Son of Man is revealed. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. That child is being nurtured is giving a good food because the child has been born is taking milk we are giving him milk from there we're giving him something that can make him to stand praise be the name of the lord Hallelujah. it's a process christ is coming up he's being born praise be the name of the lord Hallelujah. he's being born he's being born Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He's being born. He's being made manifest. A new life is coming forth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen. That form that the first man rejected through the second man, you are getting that nature. Amen. A new nature is formed. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. From glory to glory. Amen. From faith to faith. Amen. From righteousness to righteousness. Amen. A new nature is formed. Amen. A body is being put on. Amen. A spiritual body. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You are putting on a spiritual body. You are no longer putting up your old body. You don't know things in the old way anymore. Things has changed. Amen. It's changing. And it's continued to change. It's continued to change. It's continued to change from glory to glory. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Until maturity. Amen. Glory to God. When the Bible says the woman shall be safe in child's birth, do you see the salvation of the woman? 
Do you see the salvation of the soul in these three stages? Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Do you see it? If you want the salvation of your soul, you must come through these three stages. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. You need to receive the seed of life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And that seed of life has its life inside. It just needs a little quickening. Glory to God. A little watering. Because the life, everything that he needs to comfort is inside of there. It's not out of him. That's when we go to Genesis, you discover inside the garden, we have the two trees. The tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The two of them inside there, praise be the name of the Lord. At the point of germination, what happens? The death is left in the ground. Life comes up. There's a separation. You see what happened in that separation? A new body is being formed. A new life is coming forth. And what is left behind? Carnality is left behind. Amen. The flesh is left behind. Amen. The spirit is going high. Praise Amen. be the name of the Lord. Amen. A new body is formed. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. When you go back to Genesis, you cannot find that tree of death inside. You cannot find, you cannot find serpents inside. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Because it has gone through death, burial, and resurrection. We are going to stop here. Praise be the name of the Lord. The genesis of humanity gives birth to the manifestation of the Son of Man. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. It has to be a right genesis. It has to be a right genesis. The seed that you are sowing in your heart, it has to be a quickened seed. Amen. It has to be the seed of the second man, Amen. Adam. It has to be a seed that is risen. Praise be the name of the Lord. The seed that has life. That's why John said, he said, he that is born of God cannot sin. Amen. How can you sin? When the life is not in the flesh, when the life is in the spirit, and what you see is the life that is in the spirit. You don't see the flesh. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. You don't see it. Because God is spirit. He doesn't see all that is happening. Only thing he sees He's looking out for that seed that he's putting in. That is all he cares to see. He's looking out for Christ. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Not Christ as one person now. Christ as a multiple body. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. He's looking at the harvest. Glory to God. Amen. That is what the, every good farmer hopes for. The harvest. Whatever the farmer does, he does not care what he goes through. He does not care all the trials. Even when pests come to start eating up the plants, he doesn't care. He takes care of the pests. He takes them off. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He is looking at the harvest. The church has sown into us a seed of discord. A, a seed of duality. Amen. Not a seed of unity. Amen. Not a seed of love. Amen. They've sowed a seed of discord inside. Praise be the name of the Lord. So embarrassing, you see people dividing the fight food, telling you which is higher and which is lower. It's so embarrassing. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. When you are finished dividing the fight food, maybe when you have come into the fullness, then what will you now call the fight food? Eh? What will you call it? You see, man is so carnal and lost in the flesh. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We have to trace our way back. Trace our way back. So that we can, if you are planted, rightly planted in his death, you will also be in his resurrection. Amen. God bless you all. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you, Lord. Your word has come forth, Lord. Let us seed of life get into a heart. A heart that is a virgin heart. A heart that is meant for that seed. A good heart. Not a contaminated heart by the curse of this world. Amen. Not a contaminated heart by the deceitfulness of riches. Amen. But a good heart. A heart that has separated herself from evil. A heart that has separated herself from the foolishness that is in the world. Amen. Father, let this world locate it. Amen. And let there be a resurrection. Let there be a resurrection, Lord. Bless everyone that listened this morning. Oh, Father. 
I speak healing, O God, to everyone that needs healing, Father. Let there be water from that rock that is with us, Christ, and let him heal everyone that is sick this morning. Father, heal everyone this morning. Heal everyone, O God. Heal everyone, O Father. Physically and spiritually. I commit the next service that will come in, up, Lord, in one hour from now. Father, I pray that you will take control of your servant, O God. Take charge of your servant, O God. May you speak like your oracle. May you speak life unto us, O God. And may we receive that life also. Bless everyone that have taken time to connect. Bless my brothers and my sisters. Bless everyone. Bless our families, O God. And let your name be glorified, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray. God bless you all. Remember one hour from now, Rohabat will be coming on in his Sunday service. God bless you.